So, uh, hello everybody. Um, my name is Valdir Rocha. I'm a partner of Verano Law Firm in Brazil. And we are going to uh, mention a few hot topics on advertising law in Brazil in the last 12 months. Uh, we'll speak about the new uh, data privacy law, which was enacted uh, last year and will become effective ne uh, next year. And uh, we'll speak on Conar's decisions about influencers. Uh, most of the cases decided last year by Conar, Conar is the uh, self-regulatory council. Uh, most of the important decisions re uh, related to influencers and the way they are advertising goods uh, without, uh, without referring to uh, the, uh, the uh, companies that uh, manufacture the goods and sponsor them. So the, the new law uh, is very similar to the European GDRP and uh, all companies will have to comply with it. Be in the beginning, the, I mean the law uh, stipulated a deadline early next year, but a provisional measure uh, rendered by the presidency postponed the deadline to uh, August of 2020. So companies will have to implement uh, everything that you are familiar with in GDRP. Uh, there are a few differences, but the main, main requirements in, on the Brazilian law are uh, security measures that you have to implement, uh, obtain consent from uh, data subjects, inform these subjects of any changes in, in the processing of data, uh, delete for the companies that just process and do not storage data, they will have to delete personal data upon comp completion of the work. And there is also the accountability uh, principle, uh, be able to effectively, effectively prove compliance with uh, the law. Uh, as I said, there was a provisional measure issued by the president, the former president, where we had a, a new elections and we have a new president, but that was um, a, a provisional measure issued by the foreign president and it created a national data protection authority. So it has not been regulated <coughs> yet. I mean, it's a provisional measure by the executive power. It will have to be uh, reviewed by Congress and will be, probably become a law and uh, that law will have to be regulated to uh, implement the authority. Uh, those are the requirements of the uh, uh, authority. Uh, it, it will be uh, uh, linked to the presidency and will issue guidelines uh, for compliance with the new law. Uh, standards and will sur supervise the uh, processing and the storage and will enforce penalties which can go up to 2% of the revenues of the company subject to uh, up to 50 million reais. So the next hot topic in Brazil are the influencers. They're growing. And a lot of people are living on that. Uh, that's the picture of one of them. He's a comedian, you know, a stand-up comedian. He has 33 million subscribers on YouTube. So just to show you, you know, how a, a stand-up show can gather all those people uh, in Brazil nowadays. But, but he's not the most popular one. So she is the most popular singer in Brazil today. <laughs> Anita is the most popular pop singer in Brazil today. Uh, she's followed by more people than Lady Gaga, and she appeared on, uh, she posted on Instagram that picture wearing those jeans, uh, and, and she used the name of the company, Sawari Jeans, at Sawari Jeans, but no reference to sponsorship. So this is a leading case, uh, and a very important one, because it's dealing with the most popular Brazilian pop singer today, and Conar, despite of the fact that we do not have a, um, a, a regulation for, for the hashtag ad, uh, CONAR, which is a self-regulation body, uh, ordered Anita to include the hashtag public or hashtag ad. So this is self-regulation uh, becoming, uh, becoming a requirement. 
and she did. Uh, that's another influencer. There, there are two brothers, the Neto brothers, and they, uh, strangely enough, they, they, they just post, they, he has posted uh, six, 1,600 videos on YouTube, and he's followed by children and, and teenagers. And these are very dumb videos of him playing in his house with other teenagers and his brother. Uh, but he's followed by millions of children and, and teenagers. And he, he, he started a contest by giving that, that phone number so kids would call that number to compete for a weekend in his house, uh, which he calls, it's a mansion called Neto Land. And uh, because there are toys and, and games and things, and also to go to Disney World. So, there were a lot of complaints to Conar because kids were making several phone calls. Then they restrict, they changed the rules and restricted the number of phone calls per, per person. But these are kids and they were making paid phone calls and they were, the brothers were getting 50% of 5.85 reais per call. And these, these guys are millionaires and now they're getting money from these phone calls. So there were a lot of complaints to Conar and, and uh, they changed again the rules, uh, saying that only adults could participate, but Conar ordered them to take it down. So uh, this is to show uh, how influencers are, um, are addressing or, or directing their communication to children without controls. So there's only self-regulation control in it. So I think these are the hottest topics in Brazil today, and thank you very much.